Hello, 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 my beautiful bestie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about this week because we are going to do Christmas nails all week long. That's right. It is time for Christmas accent week. We are going to tear it up for Christmas. Today's nails are going to be some cute little Christmas stockings and I actually got this idea from Kirsty Meekin. She actually did ornaments and I decided I would do stockings instead because um, I have a brand new grandbaby coming, as you may already know. And my other grand, I have more than two grandchildren, but my grandbabies, the ones that are actually babies, one is still inside cooking. Hopefully we'll be here before Christmas. I'm hoping for my birthday, but the other one is a year and a half old. So I decided I would do a red one for my little girl, Elena, and a blue one for my future little boy, Liam. So we're going to do these cute little uh, felt stockings. And we're going to do some stitches and they're just going to be so adorable. I absolutely love how these came out. And you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button because like I said, we're keeping it Christmassy here all week long. There's probably still going to be a little bit of Christmas next week, but we're going to start heading into winter nails and uh, some New Year's nails. So we're really going to focus on Christmas for this week because if you were looking for something to do for your own nails, this would kind of give you a few options for some accent nails that you could incorporate into your look for the holiday season. So now we're going to do the blue one. Now this blue one uh, is going to take a couple of coats of polish to get it the full deep blue that I want because this, this is Laguna Moon. This polish is not all of their polishes, just this one. It doesn't have like full opacity in one coat. It's got a very nice sheer quality, but if it, it can get opaque as long as you work with it a little bit. So that's what I did. I went on ahead and just took my time, got the, the, the first coat down as nice as I could and then came in with two more coats and really built up that color to give me that deep, rich, amazing Christmassy blue, right? I think it ended up coming out really pretty. And now we're going to come in with some white gel paint. This gel paint is by Yogi, which is the same uh, gel paint that the red stocking is. Those are both Ye Yogi and we're just going to use it to make those little stitches. Uh, just very simple stitches, nothing fancy. Just, uh, what kind? I don't know what those are called. It's not a hem stitch because a hem stitch is a little different. Just a little stitch like the first stitch you would learn when you're first learning to sew. And then we're going to repeat that process over on the blue nail and see how nice it got after three coats. It's really just a pretty blue color. We're going to use that next week for some winter nails. I'm super excited. Plus the uh, winter solstice is almost upon us guys. I'm a big sucker for the equinoxes and the solstices. Those are some of the original holidays known to mankind. And those are the ones that really get me going, right? I really like the solstices. So we're definitely going to celebrate that very soon. And of course, New Year's is super fun to do. I think I feel some silver and gold and black in our future. So now we're going to take this blue. It's a lighter blue uh, glitter and just pop it right into that wet top coat. And for the red one, we're going to do this gold and red. And then we're going to use some brushes and just clean off any excess. And I'm using my trusty handy dandy extra soft toothbrush because we know that's one of my favorite tools in the tool case. And now I'm just going to take some top coat and we are going to build up that stocking. 
Um, I wouldn't say it's a full 3D, but there's a puffiness to it. There's definitely a quality there because we are going to do that like three times. I don't actually show it three times, but just so you know, I did it three times. Uh, I will show a couple of them though, and you can definitely see at the end when I show it to you from the side, how much it does actually build that up and give it sort of a pillowy quality. Um, and you're almost using it like a builder gel. So it's super nice. Uh, now don't forget though, with some top coats, they don't have a full clarity to them. So you'll wanna pick and choose your top coats carefully when you decide to use them in this way. Oh, and this one, I guess you do see a third one. You see how nice and puffy and pillowy it gets? Now I'm gonna take some matte top coat because I don't want this to be shiny. And I'm gonna mix this black uh, Born Pretty uh, gel paint. And the reason I chose that one is that it's not full opaque black, it's a very uh, sheer black. And so that's gonna give me the quality that I want to just make a shadow underneath that uh, stocking so it's just got that more of a th <laughs> more of a 3d quality to it sorry my tongue is clearly not wanting to make certain words tonight and then we're going to repeat that process again on this other stocking and just you can see how it just it gives it even more of that quality of being 3d and I just mm, I think it came out so cute. It's almost, you know, remember uh, in the summer when we did the fruits and it said juicy drops from, uh, Kirst, not Kirsty, um, Light Elegance Girl. You know who I mean. Kind of like that, but you're not wanting to make drops. Guys, let me know what you think of the stockings in the comment section. While you're down there, give me a little Christmas present and click all my buttons. We will see you on Wednesday for some more holiday fun. Let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see for the coming seasons, the year of 2021, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.